Hey, how's it going guys? So this is going to be a very quick video showing you how to get the last day of the month in Python. So to get the last day of the month, I usually use a standard module called calendar module. Let me import a calendar module. And so here's the, the official documentation page. So the function I usually use is called uh, calendar.monthRange function. This function takes two parameters, the year parameter and the month parameter. The function returns weekday or first day of the month and number of days in months for the specific year and month. So let me give you a quick example. So one in month of July 2019. Let's say I want to figure out the last day of July 2019. So here I can uh, use the calendar uh, module, the month range function, and I'm going to provide the year, which is 2019 in the months. And if I print the function, and that returns a tuple with uh, two elements. The first value indicates the starting day uh, in July. In this case, we get zero. That means on July 1st, it starts on Monday. So if we just grab the calendar, and here uh, we can see that July 1st fell on a Monday. Now let me uh, print a couple more. So we'll do May, June, and July, maybe August as well. And I forgot to expand the second element, which is 31. So the second element indicates how many, how many days in a month. And we can use this value to uh, figure out the last day of the month. So in this case, it will be July 31st. Now if I run the Python script, so here, uh, Based on the results, I know uh, for May 2019, it has 31 days, and May 1st, 2019, fell on a Wednesday. And if I look at the calendar, and indeed that uh, May 1st fell on a Wednesday. And for June, uh, the last, we have 30 days, and based on the first value of 5, June 1st fell on a Saturday, and July 1st fell on Monday, and it has 31 days. August 1st fell on Thursday, and August has 31 days, and so on. Now, to get the last day value, so we can just uh, use the slicing to grab the, the second element. And that will return uh, 31, which is 31 days. So this is everything for this video. And hopefully you guys found the information useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.